So let's talk about the pedals. As you can see, this grand piano here has three pedals, and this upright piano here has two. Some upright pianos often have a third one as well. What we want to do now is talk about each one of the pedals and their function. Now, if someone says they're playing a piece with pedal or with the pedal, what they're certainly talking about is the rightmost pedal, often referred to as the sustain pedal because it sustains the notes, that is, it holds the notes that you play. So if I play something without the pedal, it sounds like that. You see that each note ends when I let the key go. If I play with the sustain pedal, then you can hear that the notes are sustained. That is, they are held until such time as I let the pedal go. Now you might be wondering how that comes to be, and I can show you that. If I press this key here associated with this damper, you can see what happens. The damper moves away from these three strings that produce this tone, just in time for this hammer down here to hammer the strings. And in the moment when I let go of the key, the damper will go back onto the strings, thus ending the sound. So anytime I play a key, it only sustains as long as I am holding that key. And in the moment when I release, the sound is gone. Unless, that is, I press the pedal. And in that case, you can see that all of these dampers, and indeed all of them on the entire piano, are removed. And now, anything that I might play is held until So let's talk now about the left pedal, also known as the soft pedal. First of all, I'll play you a short melody without having pressed any pedals. And now I'll press the left pedal. Now I'll play you that same melody one more time. And you might have noticed a subtle difference in the sound, namely that it's a little bit softer. But take a look at what happens at the piano keyboard in the moment when I depress that pedal. I have my finger here for reference point. On the count of three, I'm going to press this left pedal. One, two, three. And then I'll let it go. One, two, three. Again, one, two, three. One, two, three. You see that each time I depress this left pedal, the entire piano keyboard at my grand piano is shifted over to the right. So now we should take a look inside the piano to see what that causes for a change in order for this tone to become softer. So we see here the three strings associated with this key and how they are struck by this hammer down here. So I hit this key and all three of the strings are struck. But if I press the left pedal which again I'll do on the count of three. One, two, three. Now let it go. One, two, three. One, two, three. You see again these hammers, which are of course connected to the keyboard, are also shifted over to the right. So now if I play this key, only one or two of these strings will be struck. which is what makes the sound somewhat softer. This also explains the Italian term for using the left pedal in musical notation, una corda, which means one string. So that's how the soft pedal works at a grand piano. The mechanism by which this works is somewhat different at an upright piano, so let's take a look at that. 
So here we are at an upright piano, and we'll take a look at the same key that we looked at before at the grand piano. Now it might be difficult to see because of the camera angle, but this time, this key that I'm playing is associated with only two strings. And what's interesting for us is not that fact, because that's different for all different pianos, which keys have two strings and which ones have one and which ones have three. The interesting thing for us here is the way that this softness comes to be when I press the left pedal. So here we go, I'm going to press this left pedal. Now see what happens to these hammers. One, two, three. You see that this time, they're going closer. They're not moving left to right. They're moving closer to the strings. One, two, three. So now, if I play a note, it's comparatively quieter since they're being struck from a close distance. This is a louder sound, and this is, of course, somewhat quieter. One interesting little tidbit for you is that if you're playing at an upright piano and use the left pedal, then you're actually getting the same tone that you usually would be getting, just somewhat quieter, as we just saw. Whereas if you're playing at a grand piano, instead of using three strings, you might be using one or two. That is, you're actually using a different selection of strings to play the music, which leads to a qualitatively different sound as opposed to just a quieter sound. So there is one pedal left, the middle pedal. In this case, the middle pedal of a grand piano or the middle pedal of an upright piano will be a different animal altogether. Let's take a look first at the grand piano. The middle pedal of a grand piano is called a sostenuto pedal. Sostenuto is just the Italian term for sustained. In other words, this is a stupid name. The sustained pedal is the right pedal, and the sostenuto pedal, which is just the Italian word for sustained, is the middle pedal. It is a silly name, but it does something interesting, and I'll show you now what that is. If I just play these notes here, then you hear, of course, none of these notes are sustained. If I pressed the right pedal, then of course all of them would be sustained. But the sostenuto pedal is interesting. I can tell the piano which notes I want it to sustain. So I'm going to pick this one, this one, and this one. So I'm going to press these down. I can just as well play them either way. And then I'm going to press the sostenuto pedal. So what we've done is removed the dampers for this key, this key, and this key, and all of the other dampers remain on the strings as they always do. So if I now play the same thing I played before, then you see that these three keys are really sustaining, and these two, and all of the other ones, by the way, are not sustaining. In other words, you can use this middle pedal to program your piano to sustain just those notes that you want to. The middle pedal of an upright piano is something altogether different. Usually it's actually a different type of pedal, one that you can press down and it locks in, or one that you can press down and hook over to one side. And what it does is it puts some sort of material between the hammers and the strings, like a, a layer of felt. So whereas usually the hammers would be striking the strings directly, now you have a layer of felt between them so that the hammer is only striking the strings through this layer of felt, so it gives a somewhat muffled sound. practice pedal because it's only there to reduce the amount of sound that you're producing while you're practicing. So the neighbors don't come knocking with the broom.